Java 9 onward, you are allowed to include private methods in interfaces. Using private methods, now encapsulation is possible in interfaces as well in this Java 9 tutorial, we will learn about interface private methods in detail. In Java 7 and all earlier versions, interfaces were very simple. They could only contain public abstract methods. These interface methods must be implemented by classes which choose to implement the interface. From Java 8, apart from public abstract methods, you can have public static methods and public default methods. Access modifier public is optional in all above interface method declarations. I have added them to improve readability only. Since Java 9, you will be able to add private methods and private static method in interfaces. These private methods will improve code reusability inside interfaces. For example, if two default methods needed to share code, a private interface method would allow them to do so, but without exposing that private method to it as implementing classes. Using private methods in interfaces have four rules. First, private interface method cannot be abstract. Second, private method can be used only inside interface. Third, private static method can be used inside other static and non-static interface methods. Fourth, private non-static methods cannot be used inside private static methods. Let us see a demo to understand the private interface methods usage. I have created a calculator class with two functions. First function will accept some integers and add all even numbers in it. Second function will accept some integers and add all odd numbers in it. In short Java 9 private interface methods can be static or instance. In both cases, the private method is not inherited by sub-interfaces or implementations. They are mainly there to improve code reusability within interface only, thus improving encapsulation. Let us revisit all the allowed method types in Java 9.